In accordance with Canadian law, the allegations against Ms. Meng do not constitute a crime. The extradition request violates a core principle of Canadian extradition law. According to Canadian law, no one should be extradited to face punishment in another country for conduct that is not a crime in Canada. The U.S. allegations against Ms. Meng are based on violations of unilateral sanctions imposed by the United States on financial services in Iran. Canada does not impose any such sanctions. Therefore, transactions conducted with the bank do not pose any risk of breaking Canadian law and would not result in any risk to the economic interests of the bank in question. As a result, the alleged conduct by Ms. Meng is not criminal in Canada and she should be released immediately. There is no evidence that Ms. Meng misled any financial institution at any time. The PowerPoint presented by her in August 2013 in Hong Kong to a foreign bank was not misleading. Banking officials had full knowledge of the nature of issues at hand and their judgment related to these issues did not in any way hinge on her presentation. Canada's authorities engaged in a serious abuse of process and violated the Canadian Constitution. Upon her arrest at the airport, Ms. Meng was subjected to an unlawful search by Canadian authorities under the pretense of a routine border check. This is an abuse of Canada's extradition process and a serious violation of her rights. Ms. Meng's lawyers believe the U.S. campaign against Huawei and the comments made by the President of the United States demonstrate that this case was guided for political and financial considerations, not the rule of law.